Morning YouTube, Dave here, Urban Chicken Dude. Just thought I'd do um, a final review of the incubator. I'm pretty much finished all the hatching now, um, all but one egg, so probably a good time to do it because I'm not sure if the final egg's actually going to hatch. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Um, yes, yeah, so I have one left. I'll have a quick nosy. There we go. Okay, now I started off with 12 eggs, um, 10 silkies and two hamburgs. Now, success rate um, wasn't fantastic. I've ended up with three chicks, um, three silkies, and I've got one in here which I'm hoping will hatch. It's a little bit late, but we'll see. I'm gonna give it one more day and we'll see what happens. Um, but the, it's not been without issues. Um, the first chick that was born was Hey Hey, and I'll just see if I can show you him now. He's actually there. He is under the heat plate, eating quite happily. Um, well, he was due on Sunday, but he actually came out on Tuesday, so a couple of days late. And he was part of my first batch of eggs, which was. Um, four silkies and two hamburgs. Now, the two hamburgs, one of them, the air sac was on the side, which I showed in my handling video, and the other one just didn't seem to develop past day 18. Um, so, unfortunately, the hamburgs, I was quite looking forward to them, but um, unfortunately, none of them developed. So, then out of the four silky eggs, um, only Hey Hey was born. Um, the others, one of them did peck through but then just stopped and unfortunately, you know, he just didn't make it. The others, um, again, it seemed to be around day 18. So I, I, I did candle them at day 18. There was movement, or there was slight movement at least anyway. And they did fill out most of the eggs, so it looked promising, but they just didn't breach, they didn't, didn't pep through. So um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate. So the second batch of eggs I had, I had six silky eggs. Now, those I actually bought from eBay, and I was dubious that any of them would work, but actually, they got a better success rate than the ones I got locally from a farm. So, uh, yeah. Um, so I got two at the moment out of those six, and I've got one that's hopeful. So, um, so yeah. Now, one of the things that I actually had to do, so um, we have one called Belina. She's actually our biggest chick which she's under there, under there, one leg on the food. Um, now I actually had to assist the hatching on that because she was actually, she breached at the wrong side of the egg. So she actually pecked through um, at the small end, at the pointy end of the egg. Now I don't know if that's anything to do with um, the fact that the eggs are on the side um, during lockdown. Um, you know, some incubators have it that, to make sure that it's a pointy end down um, in them and they have trays for for them for that to be done. On this one, it's not. They just lay flat. So I don't know whether they get that confuses them a little bit. I don't know. But yeah, so she pet through at the pointy end of the egg. So it was a very, very slow process. So she did pet through a little beak could be seen and she was chirping away. So over the course of about 24 hours, I just helped her by removing some of the eggshell. Um, I didn't know if she was going to make it because a couple of times I did sort of nip a, a blood vessel, I think, a bit of blood. So I had to put a sort of paper towel on it to stem the bleeding. And I thought, well, I, she, she's not going to make it, but she's strong as anything. She's actually come up to say hello now. Good morning. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so, th so that wasn't, you know, fantastic. Um, and one of the things as well that I found about this incubator is all of them that I've actually hatched have got splayed legs. So I'll probably do a separate video on that, but you can see on these, I've actually put some, it's called vet tape, just to support the legs and little fudge. I know you can't see him yet, but he's at the back. He's a sort of black, brown, silky. Um, so I've had to do that on all of them. They seem okay now that they're able to walk and move around. Um, they're all born with it. Now, that can be due to a couple of issues, which one is temperature fluctuations or humidity control, and also slippy surfaces. Um, 
yeah good morning goodness me um so i think first of all slippy surfaces the actual hatching tray in this is not good i find that the gaps the gaps in them are too much and it is very slippy so that actually happened with hey hey so he was the first one that was born so i had to take them out and put this slip mat down now these were just like a pound for a pack of i think three or something and you know one uh, is large enough to do you know, to change it six times so i put i put that down and i really would recommend that because when hey hey came out it seemed okay and then obviously i left him in for about six to eight hours before i put him in the brooder and his legs were completely splayed he was quite bad i'll see if i can put a picture up um to show how bad it was so yeah I, i'd never actually treated that before so i had to actually go on youtube and have a look how to do it and it's kind of recommended that you get this vet tape I'm, I'm going to do a separate video on that because it is quite a tricky thing to deal with especially getting you know the, the tape on the chicks is a bit of a nightmare so that's maybe something with the incubator um i mean like i said it, it could also be due to temperature fluctuations and humidity so it may not just be the slippy surfaces but all those could be incubator related um now you see from the temperature that i actually increased it it was preset at 37.5 um i wasn't happy because of the temperature controls i have in here it wasn't showing anything like 37.5 so i increased it to 38.5 because i thought that may actually offset it to say that all the chicks have hatched are late it didn't i would put it up to the maximum of 40. um so yeah i mean i'll show you how to do that again just in case you don't know but click on set till it flashes and just keep pressing up until it gets to 40 and then it's done I would leave it at 40 from day one. I think it will be much better. Um, so yeah, so, so that's possible. But when I had to put it up to 40, this was a problem with the humidity, is that it was very hard to get the humidity level right without actually completely closing the vent. Now that's not good on day 18 because obviously the chicks need as much oxygen as possible to to go through the egg for them to, to hatch and to breathe. Um, so that's really difficult. I ended up doing it where it's just like a quarter open, but then you won't always get the, the humidity up to what it you know, ideally should be, which I mean, at the moment you can see that it's 64%. Now I've only just filled it up with water and I've only got this vent here. So ideally I'd want it between 70 and 80 during hatching so humidity is not easy with this to control um without actually closing the vent all the way uh you know all you can do is put as much water in as you can keep topping it up uh and maybe you know keep it quarter way open or even halfway but if you opened it full way this would the humidity would probably drop to about 50 percent so so that's not great um but yeah, I mean, perhaps that's a problem with other incubators as well. I'm not too sure. I think one of the other issues as well is cold spots in this incubator. Now I moved around, so I've got obviously a, a big hydrometer there, but I've also got some small ones there and I placed them around and there were different readings everywhere. So I think because I had 12 eggs in here, now this is supposed to be 24 eggs. Now obviously silky eggs are very small, so I'm not convinced you could put 24 eggs in there. I personally wouldn't. So with 12 eggs, though, um, they were spaced around, obviously, quite well um, within it. And obviously, when they were on their rollers as well. But, um, yeah, there seems to be cold spots in different parts of the incubator. So, you know, that could have had an impact on some of them not developing at all. Um, or only developing up to you know, day 18 or whatever. I mean, also did have some eggs that were infertile as well. So I think I had three that were unfertile and I had another two that was early death. So, you know, that's five out of the 12 already that, you know, you can't really 
well, you can't blame it all on the incubator one, not the unfertile ones anyway. But the other two, the early deaths, maybe that could have been due to the cold spots. Um, and due to the temperature, you know, it's, it's hard to say. Um, yeah, so overall, I suppose it's okay. I, I can't, can't majorly complain. I've got three chicks and hopefully this one. Now this one was actually due with Bellina and Fudge, so they should have come on Friday. Um, so Bellina and Fudge, they were actually due on Wednesday and they came on Friday. Um, we're now on Sunday. Uh, you know, so I, I, I don't think it is. I haven't counted it yet, so I don't want to disturb it, but I may do that tonight and see, you know, if there's any sort of movement or any action at all, see if it's filled out its egg, if the air sac's been breached. Well, I'll, I'll have a look to see how that goes. So overall, I suppose, I mean, for the price, I suppose I can't complain too much. Um, I have got chicks out of it. It does work. Perhaps if I'd have set it at 40 degrees from day one, it may have made a difference. Um, and with the humidity control as well, just like I said, I mean, the one thing I would look out for is the displayed legs, um, which, because it's, it's so, it just looks so slippy, the hatching mat, that I would definitely put an anti-slip mat down there. Um, yeah, so um, it's been a great experience. Thank you for sharing it with me. And um, I will probably do another update video on um, splayed legs because I said that was very tricky. And I'll do one also on the brooder setup because we've gone through um, a couple of different designs, a couple of different techniques with different things. Um, this one's just temporary at the moment. It's not huge. Um, even though there is only three chicks in there, it's there's not a hell of a lot of room for them to move around in. Um, so I'll do another one on that, uh, you, you know, soon as well. Okay, thanks guys.